and welcome to this introduction to Thorus, the new chorus plugin from UVI. Thorus provides up to eight voices of remarkably clear and transparent chorusing. With an intuitive interface and precise control over modulation speed, depth and colour. Let's start with a Rhodes piano part. And I'll turn up the number of voices to eight for a more complex and subtle chorusing effect. Let's try setting a slow, dreamy modulation rate. And dial in the required depth, calibrated here in hundredths of a semitone, so you can precisely set the amount of detuning. I'm running this as an insert on the channel, so the blend of dry and wet signals can be set using the horizontal slider at the bottom right. OK, let's try a guitar part. This time I'm going to dial down the tone control to wind down a low-pass filter for the wet part of the signal and remove the chorusing from the higher frequencies. I could also drag left or right on the graph above to adjust the tone control. Or I can drag up or down to adjust the edge parameter, which actually controls feedback. Setting edge to zero results in an optimally smooth frequency response with minimal peaks or troughs. While turning it down below zero creates sweeping notches in the frequency response. When processing bass parts, you may wish to turn up the crossover frequency and exclude the lowest frequencies from the chorusing effect. The low gain knob allows you to balance the dry low frequencies against the chorused mids and highs, or kill them completely. And again, I can adjust these parameters by dragging on the graph. Here's another instance running as a send effect, shared between multiple stacked vocal parts. And of course, I've set the mix slider fully wet. And I can set the amount of chorus by adjusting the fader for the return channel. This time I've gone for faster modulation, with lots of voices, and a touch of positive edge for a rich shimmering sound. And I've switched to the wide mode for a wider stereo image. Thorus also works well with synth parts. With edge settings close to 100%, we start to get ringing, metallic, reverb type effects. Right-clicking a knob allows you to MIDI learn, in case you want to control that parameter from a hardware knob or fader. Or of course you can automate parameters in the usual way. Automating the modulation speed can be a lot of fun as can modulating the depth parameter. Let's put everything together without any chorus. And now with our five instances of Thoris. Of course, we can save presets via the menu at the top, and can browse a library of factory presets organized by category and can queue up two presets and switch between them using the AB button for comparison. That's all for now. If you need more information, check out the user manual, or hover your mouse over a control to show a description at the bottom. Thanks for watching.